Sometimes a single line of text isn't enough and a simple input element won't work. For example, maybe you have a contact form and you need a place for people to type a message. In those cases, it's best to use the text area element. In our signup form, we want to add a text area so that users can type in a short bio about themselves. I'm going to type in a text area and then explain it. Just below our input elements, I'll type in text area and close it. And then I'll give it some attributes. I'll say ID equals bio and name equals user underscore bio. And I'll save that out. And if we switch back to the browser and refresh, you can see that the text area allows us to type in multiple lines. So I'll say this is just a test bio and I'll copy and paste that a few times. And when I do that, it will scroll to multiple lines. I can also resize the text area if I'd like to do so. So let's switch back to our workspace and let's take a look at this element. As you can see, the text area element is different from the input element in that it is not a self-closing tag you need to type an opening and a closing tag for it to work. In most browsers, a text area is resizable by the user, like I showed you previously. There are ways to prevent this if you'd like, but personally, I prefer to leave this default behavior unmodified. That way, if the user would like more space to type in any direction, they can adjust it however they want. Well, that's it. Pretty easy, right? Next, we'll learn how to add a submit button to our form.